the Bible says a lion attacked Samson while at the vineyard he left his mother and his father but that was not the end of the story Ma, the Bible says while Samson after, after killing the lion he turned aside and he saw only in the carcass of a dead lion a Nazarite remember I told you as a Nazarite you should not touch anything dead whether that of animal or human being Samson sat down he ate only out of the dead lion and the Bible says he did not tell his parents that tells me that Samson knows that what he did was wrong little little foxes that spoils the vine and you know the thing about Samson he never repents of any sin I would have expected Samson after eating lion from the dead lion I'm eating, I mean only from a dead lion to fall down on his face saying take my life Samson never repent. Nothing checks Samson that I've committed a sin. Mommy, you remember Rebecca? She was pregnant with twins. And there was a struggle within her. And she said, if all is well with me, how come there is a struggle? Nothing checks Samson. He does not repent. He is the Lord of his own life. He ate only a Nazarite out of a dead lion. He didn't end it there. You know what Samson did? He cracked a riddle out of sin and carelessness unto God. He don't sing to a riddle. Another level of grace. You committed fornication. There is nothing gracious about sin. Sin is sin. I do not have a problem when a man is caught in the middle of weakness. I have a problem when you do not repent and you turn that to a drama. Samson sat down and he called the young men that were with him. And he said, Out of the eater came something strong. And out of the strong created something to eat. He did not repent. He don't sin to joke. He cracked a joke out of sin, out of carelessness. I would have expected Samson to fall down on his face saying, Let my life be a temple of your glory. Let my spirit be the want of your embrace. A holy habitation. Where your spirit, where your spirit, the spirit to dwell, the spirit. of sin and carelessness unto God. I have seen men I who slept with a woman. They go to Biafalo and they say, I slain her. They seem to have a name. Beloved, Samson is gradually breaking a Nazareth vow that makes him. We have been told that Delilah was a no, little, little foxes that spoils the vine. Let's go to chapter 15. I'm going to tell you more about the consequence of the riddle that he post. Because Samson post a riddle with men's life. Samson is gradually leaving the vision to his own mission. Chapter 15. The Bible says with the job of a donkey. Wow. Beloved, no, watch this. Chapter 13, you hear the spirit of the Lord came upon him. Chapter 14, you hear the spirit of the Lord came upon him. Chapter 15, the Bible says the spirit of the Lord came upon him. With the jawbone of a donkey, one man. 
Heap upon heap. The Bible says he slain a thousand. Thousands of Philistines all by himself. And the Bible says he became tired. He dropped the jawbone of the donkey. And the Bible says he did something. New King James Version said he cried unto the Lord. Amplified said he prayed. This is the first time, this is the 15th year of his reign. That Samson is going to have a chat with the Lord. Samson does not pray. He believes in signs and wonder. The spirit of the Lord. Three things mark Samson's life. Lost of the flesh, lost of, of the eyes, and pride of life. The Bible says Elijah will bury his head under his face and he will cry. The Bible says Jesus prays so tender, the sweat is almost turning to a blood. But you see a man of God, the fear and the dread of Israel. He does not pray. He does not fast. I wouldn't have had a problem with that if he has kept the Nazarite vow. He fell down on his face. He cried unto the Lord, but not that of a repentance. He didn't cry and say, God, I have sinned. I shall know me alone. I die with Jimmy. He cried and say, Bread of heaven, Bread of heaven, Heal me till I want no more. It is all about the power. It is all about the size and wonder. It shouldn't have hurt me. If something is crying or praying to God because he has committed a sin, he cried because he's tired. Guide me, O oh, the great Jehovah, pilgrims to this I am weak, but I am mighty. Hold me. That is the last chapter of Samson's life, and that is my drama tonight. Chapter 16 started on an interesting note. The Bible says Samson went to Geza and he went into an alot. Just like that. He went into an alot. Like I said, nothing checks in. He doesn't repent of anything. He went into Geza, saw an alert there. No inquiry. This is a man that ought to be guided by the Spirit of the Holy Spirit. That should be sensitive to the Spirit of the Most High God. He just went in. He came out. He zipped his trouser. He didn't repent exactly. Immediately after this, guess what happened? The Bible says the gays that were told Samson is in town. Ay, 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 ay. And the Bible said they set a watch for Samson. And the Bible says Samson to heard. They are, they are waiting for him at the door of the gate that leads to a city. Watch me. Listen to me. You know what Samson did? The Bible said Samson by himself carried the door of the gate of the city I'm not talking about the gate the door that is guiding the gate of the city Samson uprooted it with everything that fastened it to the ground all by himself he carried it on his shoulder the bible says he carried it on the hill going to Hebron what a man he lifted it all by himself and scholar says listen to this scholar says there are nine geographical miles in between Gaza and Hebron. The Bible scholar says to go to Gaza from Hebron, there are mountains and hills. So Samson carried the gate all by himself, climbing 
the hills, climbing the mountain, nine geographical mouse. Ah, Alagbara lo, lo rumi. Geographical minds, a man, but beloved, know something. Something is wrong. In chapter 16, there was no mention of the spirit of the Lord. That was the only chapter in the Bible that there was no record of the fact that the spirit of the Lord came upon him. Cast me not away from the present. Please don't say your spirit wrong. A man by himself carried the door of the gate of the city, nine geographical miles on his shoulder, in between mountains and hills, and he was not tired. But the Bible never said anything again about the spirit of the Lord. The last time we heard about the spirit of the Lord was in chapter 15. And yet, nothing, no restlessness in the heart of Samson to know something is wrong. 